Hey everyone, it's Lindsay and Rick and we're here to bring you the next challenge of our nutrition challenge. For the next three weeks, the challenge is pretty simple. You're just going to keep doing what you've been doing over the last five weeks. You're going to keep weighing and measuring your food, logging it, reading your food labels, eliminating sugar, eliminating refined carbs, eliminate trans fats, add in healthy fats, and limit yourself to two alcoholic beverages per week. And the reason why we're, con we're having you do this for another three weeks is because when it comes to nutrition, consistency is king. Yeah, we don't, we don't want big ebbs and flows, big spikes and stuff like that. That stuff's going to already happen naturally. Like you jump on a scale every day, it's going to do some weird stuff. But we're looking for that kind of gradual shift, that, that linear kind of regression here or progression. But so it's like putting pennies in a jar, okay? Like after a week, a few days, it doesn't seem like there's that much. But after a couple of years, those pennies in the jar add up to a lot of money. And that's what's key here. The key here is these small changes that are that you uh, have for the rest of your life and not just like big changes that that don't stick, okay? So we're looking for these healthy habits and that's the reason why we're trying to be consistent. Yeah, and so you may have noticed that our nutrition challenge is a little bit different than other challenges that you may have participated in. And you know, there's a few things that we never address with you. We never once address how to construct a meal, how much to eat, and how often. And now we have, um, there's many different ways to, to tackle that, um, but our recommendation for you for the next couple weeks is going to be keep it simple. Yeah, we, we, do, we do believe in that stuff. Don't, don't get us wrong. We do understand the importance of that stuff, but we want to develop these healthy habits first. But I think it's about time to actually talk about just now constructing meals that satiate you and that lead to healthier habits. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, um, the three things that we, we've talked about, but we didn't really address. The first one is protein. We didn't talk about that too much, but it is vitally important. We need it in our body. Protein would include meat and eggs. Um, it would include, uh, so fish. It would include soy-based products if, if, that's, if you're not a meat eater, but you know that's probably lower. If you're a meat eater, stick with your meats first, eggs. Um, and protein powders are way down the list. So if you're thinking about that, just way down the list. It's not a real food. Um, it's a food byproduct. So anyways, your protein sources. Then you're going to get your good carbohydrate sources through fruits and veggies. And then your good healthy fat sources. So those three macronutrients at every meal. We're going to say to eat between three or three plus two. Three meals or three meals plus two snacks. And the snacks are just mini meals. Now, how much you eat in each meal is going to depend on your size. And there's a really good method that Lindsay and I learned years ago. Um, we, the people that created the Whole30 Challenge, they did a seminar and they taught us this. And they go ahead and put your hand up like this. Now, how much protein do you consume if you cut off your fingers and thumb? And that's how much protein you get. Go ahead and turn your hand to the side. It's not that wide and it's this big. So, Lindsay, how much chicken breast would that be? Uh, it's probably about two to three ounces. About two to three ounces. Same thing. I'd be about four ounces here with my hand. If your hand's bigger, guess what? You get more protein. It's that simple, right? Now, fruits and veggies. We said that those is your healthy carb sources. Veggies, you're not, they're not very calorically dense. Uh, you can probably grab like two handfuls of veggies, but grab what you can stomach, one to two handfuls. Uh, if we're probably doing broccoli, probably a cup or maybe a big handful for me because I'm a monster. I just stick my hand in, my, in the food. Uh, two handfuls of spinach. Fruit. Go ahead and take your hand. Go ahead and close it up like that. That much fruit. Okay. That's what? Maybe an apple? A small apple? A small apple. Maybe a half of a big apple. Definitely half a banana. Two cuties maybe, you know? Um, About three quarters mandarins. of a cup of berries. Yeah, so for me, maybe maybe a bigger apple if I can. Obviously, um, we just grab apples. We each grab an apple. Cool. Okay, that's great. So fruit and veggies. Your fat source. If you take, go ahead and put your hand up like this. If you put a glove on and I cut the thumb off and I flipped it upside down and filled it up with oil, that's about maybe one tablespoon of, of oil and about, I would say about two, maybe a quarter of a cup of nuts, two tablespoons to a quarter of a cup of nuts. It just depends on how you want to kind of like measure it out. But those would be really good ways of, uh, of tracking the fat sources. So 
three plus two or just three. We've showed you the, the macronutrients that are important. Protein is vital, fat is vital. The fruit and veggies are gonna be great for, for um, minerals and vitamins. And then how much to eat is using the hand method, right? This is just an eyeball method. Um, and you can actually, if you wanna weigh it out, plug it into your, your MyFitness to see how much total protein and total carbs, just to observe, just to see it. But that'll lead us to understanding if we decide to make bigger changes with a, uh, a more performance or, or aesthetic driven um, nutrition plan. Next week, we're going to give you an overview of all the different diets that we have personally tried and our takeaway from each one. Okay, so remember, for the next three weeks, you're just going to keep doing what you've been doing. Consistency is king here. Um, and also, take note of how you're feeling, how are your energy levels, both physically and mentally. How's your stress? How's your sleep? How's your mood? How are your clothes fitting? Um, what about your workout times? You know, so think of any metric that you can track and track it because that's all good data to help you reflect on what these little changes that we're doing is affecting you overall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just I want to say this. I tell people this all the time when you're doing like mobility strategies. Is it better? Is it worse? Or is it the same? Okay, it's just same thing with yeah. your checking in with yourself. Am I feeling better? Am I feeling worse? Am I feeling the same? Okay. What else you got? I got nothing. Oh, that's good. So that's it from us. You'll see from us next week.